what is going on thanks for checking out smoking with bush today i wanted to make a quick lunch so i decided i'm gonna grill some fish first time i've ever grilled fish and i've had these grillaholics grill mats just sitting in my cupboard and i wanted to see if they work as good as what is advertised shows a picture of fish right on the front of it so it should work and i haven't even taken them out the package or anything but i know the main thing i was looking at was it says that the temp can't be any higher than 500 degrees on the grill so i got my coals out there getting warmed up and then i have an oven thermometer i'll throw on there to make sure that the temp is not going to be above 500 degrees because i don't want the mat to melt so I'm not sure what I was expecting, but this is the mat right here. I got it all cleaned up, dried off, and this is all it is. As you can see, I only got half a chimney full. Didn't want to do too many, because it said to keep it under 500 degrees. So we'll get this poured out. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see what we got going. It's been about five minutes or so. And as you can see, we're holding steady. So I'm gonna check my oven thermometer because I wanna see what the difference is between the lid temp and what we got on the grates. And on the grates here, we are sitting at 450. I think we're set. We're under 500, so there shouldn't be any issues according to the manual that came with the mat. So I'm just gonna throw this mat right on the grill. You see, 450. So if anything happens, it's all documented. Get that out the way. All right, this is real quick what I'm gonna be cooking today. The ahi tuna steak, wild caught. And it's almost a pound, boy. So as you can see it's pretty thick. And I'm just gonna throw a little bit of olive oil on there. And then I got a mix of some kosher salt, of course, black pepper. All right, so there's the tuna all seasoned up. As you can see up here, we are at around 350. So I'm guessing the great temp is probably around 400. So we're sitting pretty good. Get this tuna steak on here. All right, this tuna's been on right at three minutes. So let's check it out and see what it's looking like. Let's see if we're getting any color coming up the sides. Yeah, we're getting a little bit coming up the sides there. You can see. I'll let it go just another minute. All right, it's been on another minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get this tuna steak flipped over. boy flipped over. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. Let's see. Let's see if it's stuck to the mat. No, it didn't stick. So that's good. That's good. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Let's get out. Yeah, there's the grill marks through the mat, so that's impressive. So we won't let this go as long on this side. Don't want the tuna to dry out. All right, so I got the tuna steak off. And I had it on there, as I mentioned, about five or so minutes on the first side. And then when I flipped it over, I did only two minutes on the second side. And I'm kind of surprised by the grill marks that came through the mats there. As you can see, nothing stuck to it. So, I'm impressed by that. We'll see how the cleanup is later, but no fish is stuck to the mat itself. Doesn't look like it's melted or anything. I don't want to touch it. I'm going to see if it's cool to the touch, but I'm not going to touch that. I don't want to hurt myself. As you can see, nice sear on the edge there. Anyone that follows me on IG, you know I took a knife skills workshop. And the reason my edges here don't look as crisp as they should is that the knives we have are actually pretty dull. And that's one big thing I learned at the knife skills workshop. So I'll have to get the knife sharpened. That way these cuts look a lot better. All right, the sun's overhead. I don't know if you'll be able to see me, but just got a little piece of the tuna off of there and 
give it a taste and we'll see what it's talking about. Mm. It's really, really, really good. Still moist. You got that charcoal flavor. Mm. You still know that you're eating tuna, so you didn't lose any of that tuna flavor from the grill or from the salt and pepper. That's why I wanted to keep the seasoning simple. But as far as still getting that grill flavor, getting the grill marks on your food, and the food not sticking to the grill, they're five out of five right now. And again, this is not any kind of sponsored video. These are some mats I wanted to get because I wanted to try grilling some fish at some point. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep up with the videos I post. I try to post every Saturday. And again, I'm on IG at Smoking with Bush. So follow me on there. because There's a lot of pictures and other things I do that may not show up on my YouTube channel. So definitely have a great rest of the day and keep on smoking.